Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and welcome back to Pacific Drive. Yes, we are back. In the last episode, we got sucked into the explosion zone. Uh, and we... <laughs> we beautified my car. I love it. Oh, I love it. Yeah, uh, so... I'm going to... do some of these... little... routes... to get some more supplies. And then we will do Sierra, which is the next story mission. Uh, I will include any fun footage. Yes, I'll include any fun footage of anything that I find. Uh, but then we will jump to the story. So let's do it. Oh, damn. Like, right off the bat, there's already a bunch of tourists. The Arctovice needs different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway. You'll have to feed anchors to the Arctovice until it's satisfied, and she'll tell you how many she needs at any given time. Ow. There we go. Shit. That was a bunch. Thermosap crystal. Also, there's... Can opener? Ah, fuck. <laughs> it glows in the dark! Yeah, so there's can opener. Let's, let's look at this. Uh, boop. Spark tower, I read that. Uh, can opener. You might hear us. We're still inside the cabin. Uh, one of those things is tearing up the ground outside. It doesn't stop. It went through Baxter like, like when you walk through tall grass. Huh. Like he wasn't there. Oh God. Come in. Come in. Control. Can you hear us? You have to understand. They escaped containment. The anomalies escaped. They escaped. They all escaped. Shit. So that thing's gonna tear me up if I go in it. Oh, no. Yeah, so... Oh, logbook. Like us, Remnant, are like us in a way. Oh, yeah, let's just listen the to remnants this. Remnants are like us in a way. Those of us who chose to stay behind, we are as discarded and forgotten as they are. And by chose to stay, you mean actively defying government orders to evacuate? Then yes. You remember how we went without electricity for four months to dodge the clearing crews? There's, like, what? Only a hundred of us left? If even that. Frankly, I'm surprised so many of us were unable to move on for one reason or another. Oh, speak for yourself. I'm here for the hunt. Hey, even better now, there's no one to get in our way. The hunt? What does he mean, the hunt? Oh, and there's some shit going on out there. Alright. Turn that off. Yeah, there's... Some... Okay, a new thing called left-right. Logbook. Boop. Left, right. Uh, yes, sir. We lost control, sir. Veered off the road and straight into a house full of squatters. Sick, sir. It's like something just took control of the truck, screwed it all up, and sent it every which way. No, sir. Only Jackson, who probably has a broken wrist. Everyone else is fine. While the squatters are, uh, while all these squatters, uh, seem a little scared. Well, sir, thing is, we actually think they're foreign. They're dressed kind of strangely. They have hats and flannel shirts. Canadians? But I thought Canada was north of Seattle. Victoria? Who is she? Oh, I see. Well, if we uh, can get a translator on the line, I'm sure we can work that out fat or very fast. I mean, French, sir. But I thought that Canadian spoke French. <laughs> what? Miller dated a Canadian, and she spoke French. Oh, I see. Well, I'll try that now. Uh, hello in there. Are you all right? Hello? Do you understand me? We coming in peace. 
Me American, you Canadian. Friends? Sir, I think they're unhappy. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. We also got, uh, like us. No, uh, survive. Hey, driver, not to be a downer or nothing, but, uh, I'm wondering what we do if you can't find a way out of this home. They got themselves over the wall. They'll find a way to survive here like the rest of us. Or not. Won't be my problem at that point. I'd hardly call what we're doing here surviving. Ugh, look, hey, both of you always going on and on about putting up with this, ensuring that. There's more to life than that, you know? You, for example, Arpy, you're brilliant. You controlled fundamental forces of nature with your fingertips. Both of you did. <sighs> Slow down there, kid. We were scientists, not superheroes. Why, I mean, look, hey, to someone who was all thumbs when it came to science, they're one and the same. I just don't understand why you're wasting away here, borrowed away in the zone. Both of you, you're sitting on so much lost potential. Potential is a carrot on a stick for the young. An illusion to keep you forging on when you should have given up long ago. Damn. Nothing had more potential than limb technology. And look what it did to the Olympic Peninsula. What I did. Look around. We're stuck here. For good. All we can do is survive. Everything else is moot. I forgot what a charmer you are, RP. An absolute living ray of sunshine and optimism. Damn, so... She was like the head engineer of like research and development. But now she's like kind of depressed about all of it. She like, I guess blames herself in a way for what happened. Huh. Nope. Yeah, uh, so we got, we already got some new anomalies researched. Uh, so I'm gonna keep on chopping this stuff up and gathering supplies. I need more steel door. I'm not sure if crude door can actually give me any. I think I need to find a car that actually has steel panels. Otherwise, they just give me scrap. Hey everybody. So I found a, a truck out in the middle of the woods. And there's a not today Satan, a Bianca Del Rio, D D Rio. Bianca Del Rio sticker. <gasps> Red paint, lime green paint, oh my God. An extra scrapper, off white paint. Damn. Yeah, crude panel, I don't need that. I'll gladly take this extra scrapper. Uh, ooh, a steel door. Might get a steel sheet from this. Yep. Uh, I'm Tori Full. Let's organize this a bit so I can grab that steel panel. I think that's all I can cut off of it. I can do the tires and stuff, but meh. I don't need any more rubber. Um, and then also over here. Yeah, there's an abductor. But there's also one of the energy sources I need. Oh shit! I need to see you there! Rude! Okay, uh. Alright. My car's back this way. Oh, I left the back door open. It's gonna be so moldy in there.
There you go. Yeah. I can figure out... I'll do the stickers and stuff when I get back to the... the garage. Sick. Okay. Cool. I've barely made it into the zone. I keep finding all this stuff. Yeah, cool. Let's keep going. Huh, what is this? Broken bunny? I can pick it up. It's not radiating me. I wonder if I can put this in... to the arc thing. It'll do something. No? Do I store it? Damn. Oh, hands only. Broken bunny. Can I tear you up? Got a powered by car. Oh, powered by carbs? Something, something? Electronics and scrap metal. Uh. Logbook. Gotta find that powered by. Yeah, broken bunny. Lopez, December 10th, 1965. I don't like this. I feel like an experiment. That's what if that's what I feel like. Like someone is playing with me, but uh maybe to learn about me. Maybe just in the way you see a raccoon try everything it can to get into a trash can. Why would that be? Is this a response to the experiments I'm performing? Am I am I interesting? Am I a snack? These damn things chase me. And they leap on cars or the field equipment we've set up, and it's like they're playing. Please, Anna, tell me you're feeling the same way. Tell me you're seeing this. Nothing is na nothing in nature is random. Evolution means that things in our world have function. They have purpose. What is the purpose of these things? What are they trying to do? And are things in the zone evolving? Okay, um... Road flare, okay. I gotta figure out what that carb thing was. No! Like a big, sorry, I didn't even know what to say right there. A big tornado just appeared. And it started sucking me. Give me that, that, that suck. All right, let's park up right here. There's something right in front of me. Yeah, I, I couldn't figure out what that loaded by carbs thing was. Yeah, and it looked like it opened my car doors and shit. Uh, black paint. Oh, that's gonna be sick. That's gonna be sick. Yeah, once I... Okay, can't climb. Once I get back to the garage, I'll paint the car black. Because I think that with the... Uh, the galaxy stickers 
and stuff is going to look really good. Um, boop, 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 boop. It was a sticker. It was a powered by carb sticker. That's what it was. No. Rude. Okay. All right. On to the next thing. Jesus, this place is not friendly. A relightable flare? Hell yeah. So also in here is a transmuter. I'm not sure. So it says gear. And I... So... Please find the attached installation plan of these newer compact LIM converters along with my resignation from Arda, effective immediately, has become the favored pastime of my peers to gripe about the youth of today, but I find myself sentimental. Maybe the generation, uh, the next generation will be the ones to right our wrongs. Their bright-eyed, bushy-tailed optimism reminds me of the early days when we thought LIM technology's potential uh, limitless. This machine is a step toward the original vision, where land bridges the gap between the materials given to us and our imaginations. So, if I put in a gear, does it just give me a bunch of flares? Because like I don't need flares. I am curious how that works, but also it's time to leave. I have enough stuff. Yeah, let's get out of here. Oop. I'll play around with the, uh, the thingy later. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> that looks insane. This looks absolutely nuts. My eyes! Ah! Ah! Sick. Looks like you're getting the hang of things. Well, once you get that unfortunate driving under control. Rude. My driving is fine. My fabrication station to fix up that junker. You should while I'm still in the mood to allow it. And there's the test track behind the garage. If you need to take anything for a spin. For a spin. What an absolute jerk. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's empty this bad boy out.
All right. So let's try out this black paint. Uh, there we go. <gasps> that looks incredible. Yes. Really makes the decal pop. Also really shows how rusty everything is. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. That makes me so happy. All right. Black paint going up. Um, not today, Satan. Where should I put this? So, I'm an idiot. I'm a big dumb fuck. I need to make a detailing station. Over here. I can put stickers and stuff in here. Oh, Laika, the space pup. Cute. Uh, here. So let's go get those stickers I got. I think I can actually store them in there and then apply them. Oh, it's a bobblehead. Okay. Got it. The spaceship steering. Cute. I think these are all DLC stuffs that I got. So I'll install all this. Oh. My god. Love it. I have a cute little spaceship thingy. I don't like that as much. I do like the little spaceship. So that's cute. Oh! All right, so let's get rid of, on the steering wheel, let's clear that slot. Okay. <sighs> cute, 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 cute. So how do I give it stickers? No bear flag? Hold on, is there a bear flag? There isn't. Rude. I do not feel represented. This game's gay as hell. Love it. Yeah, I'm still a little confused how I give it stickers. Oh. I actually just double clicked. Okay, so. Not today, Satan. Oh my god! Swap it. <laughs> okay, I finally get it. I understand. Okay, everybody. Hi. So I, I figured it out. Up here, I can research gear. So that's already unlocked. Uh, now to research bulb. I need one fabric, I guess. So I'll go and research that. So now I can make bulbs. Steel sheet. I have a basic workbench and I have one fabric. Got it. So let's do it. Nope. Come here. So now I can make steel sheets, I guess. And then, zoom, what's this? 
Circuit board. Perfect. Damn, it just launches those out. Uh, workbench. Unstable energy. Got it. So I need more of that. Then... <gasps> okay. So this is... I already have repair putty and stuff. This is all unlocked. Anchor radar. Okay. I would like a better grinder. Liberator. Less precise than a cutting tool, the Liberator will nevertheless cleanly and carefully remove individual sections of a vehicle by precisely placing small explosive charges. What? Uh, hand vac. Oh, I can craft hand vacs if I do this. Okay. And then... Unstable energy. Damn. So I need, so plasma cutter, I need to do that. All right, there's actually a lot of stuff I can just research right now. I need unstable energy, whatever that is. Can I make this stuff? Steel sheet, I can. <gasps> I use a scrap metal, perfect. So now I can make a bigger locker. Missing ingredient, stable energy. How do I get more energy? Engines, yeah, I need more energy. I probably just need to go do missions and probably collect some from those radioactive whatevers. All right, hey everybody. So this zone I picked is insane. Spike puddle. I'm sure that's gonna destroy my tires if I get into it. So I accidentally placed a thing there. Let's get rid of that. So it says that there are train cars through here. So I'm very curious about that. So we're going to follow the tracks. And go get this one. God, it is windy as fuck. Jeez. This ain't a train car. This is a... a rampy boy. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Here we go. Now, I will hop out and see what this thing has to offer. What is that? Leave the headlights on just so I can see a little bit better. Glittering boulder. Ow. Okay, don't run into that, I guess. Yeah, it just disappeared. Damn. That shit hurt it too. Alright. Uh, let's see what's in the train car. <gasps> Duct tape. Changing the car. Oh no. Does that mean. I let the battery die already? I barely have left it on.
Okay, let's close you. Pop back in. Yeah, where's it say what my battery charges? Yeah, it's like above halfway. Rude. Damn. Make me worry for nothing. Ugh. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, good. The storm's going away. Perfect. Unless it's like the calm before the real storm. <laughs> also, I realize I haven't been turning on any tunes. There we go. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I will keep looking around. Yeah, I'll cut to the next thing. These train cars better be worth it. Next time I might just park the car on the street and then go looking for uh, the train car. Yeah, I'll cut to the next cool thing. Beating heart? Hello? I want your... your energy. I want you. Weird. Alright. Um, there's supposed to be... an energy thingy, an energy pod around here somewhere. Ooh. The mailman, number one. Hint, store in a fax machine. Okay, so that means I need to make the fax machine or something. Ooh, shit, these are nice. Oh, that's, that is nice. The vacuum is nice. No! Leave me alone! Better not... Better not be going for my car. Leave it alone. I am parked. I don't even know where it's... It's going back and forth. Doing the... Watch me go back to the gas station and my car is like up in a tree or some shit. Oh shit. Oh no, am I lost? Oh no, am I lost? I thought Big Dan's was right back here. Okay, here we go. I'm back at Big Dan's. Oof! Uh, all right. I think my car is fucked up right now. Yep, sure is. Damn it.
Holy shit. I'm assuming if I run through this, it's gonna shock me. Ow. Yeah, I came to try to see if I can get anything out of... Oh, there's nothing here. Alright. Yeah, I came to see if I can get anything out of the train cars, but there's nothing in the train cars. Instead, I just saw an anomaly. There's a beating heart to my left, somewhere. Which I'll look at all the anomaly stuff when we get back to the garage. This area is like so... Just unsafe. I don't, I don't feel comfortable just sitting still for very long. I only feel comfortable leaving that spark that came towards me I thought was an anomaly too. I don't even feel safe leaving my car alone for a while. Last time I did that, uh, fucking those bunnies came and attacked. Okay. Oh, of course. Go away. Thank you. I mean, it sounds cute. But leave me alone. No. No touch. Oh boy. I don't know what that shit is. It says it's a storm. Am I- am I fucked? Oh boy, am I fucked? Yeah, five- oh. Stuff is happening. Oh, fuck. Alright. I think I have to get out of here. Uh, but I want that orb. Uh, oh, the bunnies are attacking. Okay. I gotta get out of here. Go, 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 go. In the car. Okay. Vehicle protection compromise? Yeah, I figured. Okay. Let's go there. Yeah, I know. I know. Damn. This is like the closest I've gotten to the car just being completely just effed up. That is insane looking. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to spend so much putty. Oh no. I might be dead. Nine. Eight. I don't know if I, I can even get to the thing on time. It's gonna be close. Is it because I got... Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Three. Two. Oh my god. Honey, I'm home. <laughs> no interesting thing about those anchor plugs. They use limb technology to stake down pockets of stability in an area. Basically, they delay how quickly you're turned into Swiss cheese out there. Cool. Oh, so if I grab anchor points before I'm ready to leave, it'll just jack my car up. Got it. Okay.
Tinker Station? Really? Here we go. So, I came back. Ugh. I need to get a new chair or something. Ugh. Hurts my ass. All right. So now I can do upgraded locker. Or is it just an additional locker? Damn, that's huge. Sick. Okay. Um, what else can I do? This is meta regenerator fax machine. I need circuit boards. But I can actually go craft a circuit board. Yeah, circuit board. Here we go. Oh, I just need one. Yeah, here we go. Fax machine is going right here. And then I can put that book I found in here. Multiple scan attempts rejected from source. New tuning configuration, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, the mailman. Is that where I, hold on. It says store and fax machine. Do I have to read this? Oh yeah, so birds, the electric things. Uh, hey Roger, this is Niraj. I want to summarize everything we went over yesterday evening, so here's the key points taken from my notes. The standout is a 95% drop in animal life. That's a disappearance of almost all mammals. A huge drop in the population of fish, and something around three quarters drop in population of insects. Our exception here is birds. We're still seeing bird populations of about 50 or 60%, though it's not clear at this point what the birds might be eating, since insect numbers are so low. We discuss signs of birds as well as actual bird numbers. And the ongoing presence of bird song, even in areas where birds seem to be absent or in sharp decline. We put a pin in that to follow up uh, on it later. It's a lot of changes, and it's consistent with the downward trend we've been seeing. The bird thing remains strange, though. So are the birds, like, electrified? We talked about making recordings of bird songs or bird song and comparing them to look for any changes. I guess that's what we start on this week. A beating heart. It's been at least two months now, and I'm the last member of our team left out here, totally lost. I have no idea what day it is, where I am, where I should be headed, even which way might be north. The roads themselves seem to be changing, and those barriers that the government installed open and close with a mind of their own. I don't get it. I don't know if I'm ever going to get out. I've only been able to keep going thanks to these, thanks to magical piles of semi-organic junk that somehow knit the van back together after whatever things smashed it apart last time around. I can get hit by electricity or dragged into a tree ten times over, but these things patch everything up better than any mechanic I ever knew. And then I just drive Oh, so I can... I can drive the car into a beating heart? Weird. Uh, and then I just drive onto the forest once more, or into the forest once more, trying the next junction. That's the story of the last living member of the Bug Watch team. Stuck out here forever because we became, or because we came to record a dumb show about insects.
Yeah, Hurricane Squall, a sudden and dramatic change in atmospheric pressure has produced a powerful but extremely localized winds. Be careful. This could be extremely dangerous. Shaker. These are things that just appeared in the ground. Uh, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to remember our esteemed and esteemed, honored, and oh so kind colleague, Eric Gordon. Taken from us far too soon, Eric was a shining light in our lives. Let us remember him for his achievements, his humor, and his grace. Let us remember him how he lived and not how he died, propelled as he was 600 feet into the air by a sudden blast of hot corrosive slime. I know our hearts are all, all so heavy today, and we only wish Eric could have been heavier and thus not flown quite so far. What the hell am I saying? And recording, and recording. Glitter boulder, transmission, okay. Hey, this is Anna. I'm totally going so fast right now. Oh no, oh no. It's happened again. Just out uh, collecting some data from the weather stations and oh no. There are these new things out there and oh help. <laughs> if you touch them, you, oh no. Hold on, Charlie. Look, I'm not an engineer or a physicist. I'm a meteorologist. But my guess is these things are discharging huge amounts of energy into whatever they touch. And when they hit a car, you totally go so fast. So if I see these again, I should run one over with the car. Spike puddle. Uh, today we engaged in a pursuit of, of a pair of zone trespassers. Three vehicles from B Company were damaged and put out of action by what may have been traps deliberately laid. The trespassers who cross from Canada via Salish, Salish Sea and maybe fugitives are believed to have landed somewhere near Joyce after traveling via small boat. After multiple sightings and extensive tracking, we encourage the trespassers approximately 1100 hours to begin a ve uh, vehicular pursuit down several fire roads. Driving a stolen government car, the trespassers evaded capture for some time and were able to prevent further pursuit by leading our team across patches of some kind of semi-organic oil-like spikes. All three cars used in the pursuit suffered, uh, pursuit suffered destroyed tires and damaged wheels. It is unclear at this time whether these patches had been somehow laid in response to the pursuit or had, uh, had existed sometime beforehand. The patches are extremely dangerous and utterly unlike anything we have seen before. Recommended rec uh, requisitioning tracked vehicles from Fort Lewis for further exploration. Then pothole. These are just floating rocks, whatever. Uh, hey boss, so I'm out here working with Mira and Tobias from maintenance. And I'm afraid I've got some bad news about our gear. We've run into some trouble and I don't think we're getting it back anytime soon. Sorry, bad start for my first potholing job. Tell me when you get this, or better still, I think you should just come down here and see for your, yourself. Our tools, our signs, our lights, they've all taken flight, so to speak. <laughs> really, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. You should see this. You know how you told me we were uh, normal people working uh, in a very abnormal place? I think I know what you mean now. Okay, fax machine. Hmm. So... How do I give it the fax machine? Or the mailman thing? I'm so confused by this. Yeah, so I transferred a uh, fax machine over. I just don't know what that does. So I'll have to figure that out. Probably off camera or something. I'll clue you all in when I do it. Um, what else can I look up? What can I research? Steel panel, steel door. Oh, yeah, I can do that. So now I know how to make steel doors. How about wheels? 
So I'd love to make summer tires and not just spare tires. I feel like they pop super easily. Okay. Engine. Turbo engine. Ooh. Uh, that's going to take up... <clears throat> excuse me. That's going to take up a lot of my shit, so let's not do that just yet. Let's see. This is limb pulse emitter. This is not a pun. It's a carefully calibrated device capable of discharging ran uh, randomly timed electromagnetic pulses thousands of times per second. The trainer makes it extremely difficult for most organic and electromagnetic entities to hold on. <gasps> that means those bunny things and the... The grabber guys, the abductors, can't grab me anymore. Love that. Let's see. Expanded locker. Need more steel sheet. Is this an even bigger expanded locker? Let's go make some steel sheet. Summer tires, scrap. Ooh, needs gear. Sick. I can make those too with scrap metal. I have so much scrap metal. Need repair putty because my car is all fucked up. Steel door. Need steel sheets. Okay. I need to make just a lot of steel sheets. Let's see. So I was going to make another expanded locker. Yes. I put that out here? No. I'll put it right there. Because now I can just go grab shit, throw it in there. Beautiful. What else can I research now? Lights. I can look up headlight. Uh, side floodlight. Need to unlock side rack. Okay. Let's see. Steel panel. Steel bumper. Ooh. Sick. Okay, I'm almost out of energy. Um, expansion rack. Let's do that. Uh, excuse me. Where do I put this? It goes over the windows. It goes over the back windows. Oh my god. Okay. Now I get it. Alright. There we go. So if I go in and turn my lights on. Oh, they're already on. Oops. How do I turn these on? Chunk. Then... Let's go tear this up. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's put this on. Yes! Love it. Uh, summer tire. Now, which one is a spare? You're a spare. Perfect. 
Perfect. Let's go tear you up. Um, what else can I do? Limb pulse emitter. Go and craft that. Uh. It sticks to the back. Fucking sick. Like this, this game's really complicated when it comes to upgrading the car. So it's taken me a hot second to figure things out. But once I do, I feel so smart. I feel incredibly intelligent. <laughs> Cool. I think we're ready to go back out. Uh, I will cut to the next thing. I'll probably do one or two more supply runs just so I can upgrade. Then I'll cut to the story. Okay, boop boop. So, I just learned that you have to equip the floodlights and the limb pulse emitter as abilities. So if I do this... Damn. Damn. And then if I do... Sick. And I also have the handbrake, which is skid on demand. Which I don't know if I necessarily need that. Let's see, I think I am ready to go back out there. But you know what I have to do first. Oh, also... I replaced everything with steel. All steel, everything. Yeah. So let me get some black paint going. Steering wheel, we have the B. Oh, this is the hood. <gasps> Cute. Cute. All right. Um, what else do we got? The steering wheel. We still just have old school, which yeah, let's go into that. Love it. Hello? <laughs> Sizzling mist. Huh. Also, whenever I open my door, it always opens that one too. Like, am I just opening my door wrong? Logbook, Anomalies, Sizzling Mist. Uh, Dr. Lopez, December 2nd, 1965, addendum. You were right. The presence of concentrated plasma particles is what makes the, uh, the cloud so conductive. This isn't a storm like an electrical storm, like we'd expect to find in the skies above, and we do well to stamp out such colloquial descriptions. No, this is something else, something both more intense and yet also so much more localized. I think with a little time, it'll be quite possible for us to replicate some of this behavior in a lab setting, budget per, uh, budget permitting. God, isn't this exciting? Hold on, let me pull you guys a little bit closer. Hello. 
Hi. There we go. Uh, our research is finally paying off. We'll get tenure for this for sure. So why would they want to replicate this? Uh, let's go ahead and go back and go this way. Yeah. Uh, so as I'm sure I included in the video, there was a, a big crash. Bam. Bam. Yeah, there was a big crash uh, to desktop. And so I decided to take a break for a bit. And then I went to bed. <laughs> so it's the next day. Hey, everybody. So yeah, we're going to be checking out this zone. Um, getting some looty tooties. Fresh and fruities. Uh, I will include all the cool stuff. Let's do it. Oh. There's... They want to talk to me. About remnants. Oh, you know what my favorite remnant was? The record player. You remember Francis? Yeah, you play records normally, but then every now and then you hear weird voices. Like that one time it was my fifth grade lunch lady. <sighs> Weird. This again. Uh, you know, the sooner I get this out of my system, the sooner you can have some peace and quiet. <sighs> Fine. Hey, add a girl. Oh boy. Hey. Add a girl. Listen, Don't do that. Of all the legends, of all the stories that have spawned in the zone, <laughs> trust me, there are so many. Remnants, one of the best. I'll start from the beginning. <clears throat> In 1964, strange objects began appearing throughout the zone. They were, uh, shabby, cast-off things that were imbued with strange properties. Uh, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it. A rusty can of paint that produced every color in existence. Ooh, I Always want that. So out of place that people were irresistibly drawn to them. Yeah, you know, like a mysterious car in the forest, right? Yeah, because, okay, so my car is a remnant as well. So what special power does it have? Because we've heard about a microwave now that uh, freezes your food. A paint can that can produce any color paint. So, like, I want to hear more about the remnants. Like, what specifically does my car do? They have some more for me to listen to. Part two, boop. Tobias mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people, like the cars done with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions always started innocently. A, a sudden interest in model train sets or collecting old road signs. The objects themselves it makes us autistic? anomalous properties, but what <laughs> didn't in the zone, right? That in itself wasn't cause for alarm. But these fixations would only grow worse until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun, but better to know what you're up against. Could the Remnant's victims still be out there somewhere? I mean, we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. <laughs> anyway, it's been 20 years since the last Remnant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Until you found the car. Until I found the car. And somebody put it in that garage, or it just spawned there. So yeah. Like, does this explain the obsessive need I have to soup up my car? Like, is this their way of explaining the gameplay loop to me? Uh, we have one more to listen to. I think that's it down this train track as well. Let's see if there's anything in here before I move on. I need a lot more scrap. I use all my scrap making steel plates for the car. Like, <laughs> I'm obsessed with the car now. Like, the remnant thing is working on me. It's working overtime, baby. I wonder if you... 
Nope. Oh, fuck. I wonder if you're already feeling the remnants effects, driver. Have you been I am. Fixating on the car, maybe? If only we knew where remnants came from. Then we'd have a place to start on how to help you. This is no typical anomaly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawly, and weird. Like v visible manifestations. The remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. Oh, that's it. Uh, let's go ahead and break my grinder. On something. Sounds like bad shit's happening up there. Yeah. So... I really do wonder if the remnant thing is working its... Working its magic on me. Because I'm obsessed with the car. Like, I want to de detail it. I want to... Oh, fuck. The storm's moving in. Okay, let's get back to the car. There are these storms that will just move through the zone and just wreck whatever it hits. They're, like, very localized. You can see the wind. Oh, my God. Okay. I was gonna... Shit. Oh, I'm right in the middle of it. Oh, there's a broken bunny. Yeah, this thing is getting me good. Almost out. It's making it really hard to steer. Oh, fuck. Alright, hold on. Okay, I'm out, I'm out of the storm. We're good. Huh, these guys are just chilling on top of the... Why is my door open again? Is it because I'm... Maybe it's because I'm holding E to open the door sometimes? I'm struggling to understand why my left door keep, or my right door keeps opening. Okay, let's go and park up next to this house. Then I'll start looting in this little area. Uh, also, let's grab my extra scrapper. Sick. Uh, I found a pneumatic dump and a dumpster pearl. Slice a pearl in half, and you'll find thousands of layers of precious materials formed around a core. Break one of those these pearls, and who knows what'll pop up. Huh. Okay, uh, let me get in a good space, and I will... Actually, I'll probably do that at back at the garage. It had five. It had five thousand health, so it's probably gonna eat through a lot of my saws. Oh, here's another house. So let's, bam. I love doing that. Um, and also that really hurt me. <laughs> Who knew that 
causing myself to explode. Ow. It fucked me up so bad. But it's like, I need to watch out for these guys, because they will move. And maybe potentially fuck me up. Oh, sick. That worked. Okay, note to self. I can throw a flare into them. And I have so many flares right now. Okay. Ooh. Lots of machinery for me to cut up. That means a lot of circuit boards and wires. Always need those. Okay. I, I love this game. I'm... I haven't enjoyed a game like this since The Long Dark. I know I've said that numerous times before. But seriously, like, I love this. I love, like, survival looters. Alright, let's get back. There's, like, a weird mist. Also, I swore I turned my headlights off. Wipers. Lights. There we go. Hey. Look at all that loot I got. Yummy, yummy loot. I'm going to eat so much canned food so I can heal. I want to at least get back to 50%. Alright. Another storm's moving in. That's annoying. So I'm gonna head down the track farther to where that yellow dot is. Yeah, I'm gonna head down here, but then I'm gonna run to there. I can hear the storm about to hit. I'm hoping that if I get over here, I'll be out of it. Ooh, this one actually has rail cars as well. That's nice. Park up. These, none of these will open. This was a distraction. Fuck. Sick. Damn. Alright, I said I was going to run down here. But there's a big storm here, and I didn't want to do that. God, it's so loud. Okay, no plasma. And on the outside. Yeah, let's get up. Let's get up here. Ah, shit! Okay, I need an electrician's kit or something? can't make those. Damn. I can't make those yet. Ah, oh, bummer. Alright, so that's something I gotta research. Damn. Now I'll never know what was in there. Alright. Uh, let's go get this yellow thing. And then, I guess I'll get those two and go back to the garage. Okay. 
God damn. It is stormy. Did my car get hit by lightning? Can I get hit by lightning? Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, control. Nope. F. I said F. Oh, it's broken. Okay. Oh, that's my floodlight. <laughs> okay, let's control those off. Oh shit, the storm's actually getting smaller already. So the second I grab an anchor, it starts making the the yellow thing go small. So I gotta hurry up and go get the other two uh, anchors so I can leave. that way. Damn. Whoops. I didn't see them whenever I parked. Okay, so that's actually enough. Okay. Uh, let's get to it. It's out that way. Got it. No, come on, cart. Don't. I have a. I have a flat right now. And so it's really going sluggishly and it's really hard to turn. I'm so invested. <laughs> yep, I know, I know. I'm on a steep incline. I know, I understand. My battery's almost out. I'm caught in a storm. My car is just going through it right now. It's going to take a, a lot of putty to fix this. I might just have to replace entire parts of my car. I don't know if I have that many chemicals to make putty. Okay, there's a cutty boy right there. Let's get past this. Damn, there's a truck there. What are these orbs? What are these balls? That looks fucking incredible. Just nuking this tower. Sick. All right, we are heading back to the garage. Got to fix up the car. And then we will upgrade some stuff. And then I think I'm ready to go on to the next story point. Huh. I'm marginally impressed. Not bad, newbie. Thanks, Opie. Jerk. Okay. There we go.
Let's turn lights off. There we go. Cool. Uh, let me situate all of my gear, all my loot. Oh, hey everybody. So this is the mailman. I left it in here for a while. And it translated it. Yes, you're right. The wall exists to stop people from getting in, but by God, I hope it also stops those things from getting out. Yeah. Uh, so if I go to here and scroll down, there's evidence for continued network degradation and or interference. Of 607 packages received this week, seven arrived late in a fashion that cannot be explained. Four packages were sent exactly one year earlier. However, these packages had been already received, meaning these were duplicates of some kind. Three packages were mistakenly delayed or dated. Oops, <laughs> dated. Uh, they were stamped with a date exactly one year in the future and contain messages irrelevant to their recipients or current events. I can only conclude that these were pranks of some sort and will append these to my report about misuse of our sensitive and most vital infrastructure. So if I leave the mailman thing in here while I'm on a mission, I come back and it gives me info. Interesting. So I also put on a side rack. Um, and now it's time. Let's see, ceiling kit, which is what I probably should have used while I was out there to fix the car, whatever. Okay, so I'm wondering, can I just chunk this in here? Sick. Uh, let's suck all this up. Okay, I'm cool with that. I wonder if there had been anything different had I done it manually. Or that just just wasted my my saw. I'll I'll do a saw next time. Um let's see. I think I need to make I need bulbs. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now I have floodlights on both sides. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. And most everything is healed up. There's some things that I need to fix. I just can't yet because I'm out of putty. I need more chemicals. Yeah, I need more chemicals. This hand vac has proven to be so useful. Love it. Cool. All right. I think we're ready to go on to the next mission. Or I can go out and do more supply runs. Yeah, because here's me. I've done this one, this one, and that one. There's a... Ooh, actually, let's wait until this blob goes away. Yeah, let's wait until this goes away. I'll go and do another supply mission. And then we'll go do the story. Before I go, can I research the electrician's kit? I don't even know where that would be. Where would that be? 
Need more stable energy to unlock the off-road tire. Trunk in a trunk. Yeah, I need... Oh, I can actually do this. Side storage? I mean, sure. Thank you. Yeah, I need more energy, for sure. Also, how do I unlock the electrician's kit? Oh, here it is. So I need to unlock light replacement kit. Okay, I see more energy. Okay, cool. Chunk. Um, feels good. I'm fully healed. Inventory's good. Um, I probably need to make more side storage or the side rack thing. What does that take? So I need to make another side rack. All right. Of course it's raining. It's always raining. I'll store this for now, but when we come back, I'll make another side rack. Hands only. Fuck. Never mind. I'll put it on now. Cute. Alright. Hi. Let's do it. That's not nice. Wriggling wreck. That has actually unlocked something for me. Man, that fried my shit. Yeah, there's something that I need to scan the wriggling wreck to unlock. Okay. Oh god. There's yet another grabber. All right. We're doing it. I have a decent amount of energy, so I could leave, but I want to go get this last this last one before I leave. The storm isn't coming yet. Oof. That Sizzle. Freaking me out. Alright. So you go this way and up on the bridge. Damn. It, it smoked my shit. I'm like... I'm smoking, baby. Damn. Sick. Okay, let's see what's in here. I can't get any more plasma because I didn't fix my... Ugh. A whole ass headlight? I can install that. Oh my god, I love these. Ugh. Sweet baby Jesus. Oh man, this is incredible. 
Now I can go back to the garage. Oh, my jaw. <laughs> I go back to the garage and break that down into parts. Mmm, dog food. Mmm, dog food. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and take you off. Headlight. There we go. I have matching headlights. Yes! Okay. Is there anything else in this truck? Hmm. Those trucks are amazing. They are truly incredible. Turn lights off. All right. Let's get... Actually, turn that back on. Let's get to driving. Ugh. I hate these narrow little gaps they give me sometimes. Because I ain't... I ain't slowing down. I ain't no punk. <laughs> um, there's a car. Is there... Might be something in... Here. Sick. Oh, I'm getting radiated. So let's get back. Alright. There's one more building I can loot. Oh, it, it's... it's foggy, foggy. Yeah, there's one more building, and then I'll go get the energy and go back, and then we'll upgrade... Uh, one more time, then do the story. Here's one of those pneumatic things. These things are great. Ooh, I can cut these up too. I need these. Love it. Now, I wonder... Can I make... No, I still can't make an impact hammer. Alright. There's actually one more house up here for me to go do, and then I'll come back and get that. I am a loot whore. Damn. Horny for the loot. This guy started clumping up to me. The fuck? No, my door. What the fuck? I got a whole new scrapper. Did he give me a did he give me a present? Thank you, buddy. So this says stable anchor, and it gives me stable energy. So I wonder if there are unstable anchors that'll give me unstable unstable energy. What? Did another one just spawn? Weird. Stop, bro. Alright. Um, let's do... That one. Now we all have to do is follow the road. Yeah, it's over that way. Yeah, so I guess once you grab all of the energy in an area, it will spawn more in. 
I might have just gotten extremely lucky with one spawning right next to me. Ah, fuck. The storm's moving in, so I can't go get that. Fuck it. Doing it. Risking it. Risking it. No, I'm not. The storm is, like, already on me. It's fucking my entire shit up. Alright, let's get out of here. Damn it. I didn't see that until just now. That looks so cool. Video games are awesome, you know? <laughs> video games are cool. I, I like video games. Do y'all like video games? Leave a like if you like video games. Shut your mouth. So rude all the time. Alright, let's... Oh, right. Need to start dumping everything in the, in the lockers. Let's actually test out the flare gun real quick. So I have 18 flares. Oh, okay. So it, it wears down over there. Got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. Make an extra one of those and store it in here. Wait, how do I split a stack? Oh, I don't think I can. All right. I have a ceiling kit, electrician's kit, electrician's kit. Um, I have an extra vac in there. I should probably make an extra pry bar because mine's getting worn down. Um, let's also make a mechanics kit. Okay, so electrician's kit, ceiling kit, mechanics kit, uh, battery jumper. Um, sick. I think I'm good. I've got all the stuff from the friendly dumpster. Off-road tires. So, I need four gears, so let's go and do that. Uh, gear. Off-road tire, so one. Oh, right, got a... Uh. There we go. Damn, those are chunky. Hello? <laughs> Do these stack or no? No, they don't. Okay. There we go. Let's take off this last one. So now whenever I drive off road, it should be a little bit smoother and a little bit faster. There we go. Should be leaning. Uh, 
Here we go. Some fancy new tires. Hell yeah. Okay, anything left in here? Just some food. Let's put flare gun. There. Pneumatic hammer there. Yeah, lighting sources I'm gonna put near the back of my hot bar. So we have pry bar, grinder, vacuum, hammer. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, there we go. So these three will give me give me stuff. This will suck it up, and this is my light source. I like that. Sick. Now, do I have? Any chemicals? I don't. Damn. All right. Hey, make anything in here. Nope. Okay. All right. I think we're good. Ugh. The status of my hood worries me. Why can't I go there? Is because I've already been? I was hoping that this blob would go away because it's in extreme condition. All right, let's do it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, I need to get some more chemicals so I can repair my stuff. I can always just make a new one. I guess this is where the repair station would come in handy. Need more chemical. Damn. All right. Son of a bitch. Sick. Um. Let's do it. Oh boy. Before we do that, I'm going to use the restroom. Alrighty, here we go. I'm going to have to pause again for a second before we really go into this one. I'm doing a little interview for somebody's college thesis. Oh boy. These roads look shitty. Stream conditions, spark surge, a uh, curious fragility, what? And swift storm. So I've dealt with swift storm before. It sucks. But luckily, all I have to do is go over here to get to the exit. But ah, oh, but look at all this stuff down here. So I might do that as well. But yeah, all right. Uh let's pause really quick. fucking punched my boom arm. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> uh, did the little interview for uh, a subscriber's thesis. Uh, shout out to Ashuri. I hope your thesis goes well. Um, 
And hopefully my answers made sense. Let's see. So, we have to get up here to get to the story. So I'm gonna hit up... Damn, that's a lot of houses. And I don't wanna... risk the storm going off. But I need energy. Ugh! All right, let's do it. Uh, there we go. Yeah, and I put on my hoodie. So it's a little chilly in here. And now I match the car. What is that? I don't even know if I can scan that. Let's find out. Oh, I'm getting radiated, too. All right. Back in we go. I want to figure out why the door opens every time I get out. Okay. So... Looking at this, there might be something in the tunnel, or I can try to go up here and across. Hmm. Maybe we'll make it up there. Fuck it. Let's test out the uh, the all-terrain wheels I got. Excuse me. I mean, so far this is doing a lot better. Ugh. Come on. We can do it. Come on, mama. Here we go. There's a cutter somewhere. Right there. There it is. Hello. I think I might have either the cutter hit a bunch of Taurus or I did. Oh, cute. This is the relatable flare. Kind of works as like a, a flashlight. That's so nice. Yeah, let's grab all this garbage. Ah, chemicals. I need so many chemicals. Okay. I made... <clears throat> I made a flare gun, now there's give me one. It's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. Uh. All right. Man, why is it going straight for me every time? There we go. I haven't collected plasma in a while. All right. I hope I have a first aid kit. I don't. I just have food. Hey, decal kit, a note, another decal kit. Perfect. Boop, 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 boop. Sick. My door opened again, of course. I gotta figure out why that's happening. It's either like a bug or it's how I'm opening the door. Okay. Man, there's so much shit I need. Like, I need all this. So here. 
what I'm gonna do is make first aid kit. Nope. Damn it. All right, I'm gonna farm and stuff and I'll cut to the next thing. this set off the storm. Yep, it did. Son of a bitch. I was hoping it'd be like last time where I got a little more time. I'm not doing that jump. Oh, fuck. Maybe I should have done the jump. Okay. There's another one of those things out there. I need it. So let's go ahead and hop out. Fuck, man. I hope I don't die. What happens if I die in this game? If I die for real? <laughs> okay. Let's pick you up. Oh my god. The Taurus moved around me. Not nice. Not cool. Okay, here's my car. Man, I'm almost dead. I need to be careful. From now on, I need to make sure I have a first aid kit with me at all times. Okay. I guess I can't loot anything because I already got the energy or you know what I should do I should go back to the, the garage I don't know hmm I don't know the circle is getting smaller and I'm very beat up oh my God. so many tourists bye Hood is almost destroyed. God. So every time I drive through one of those yellow things, it just, it's tearing apart everything on the car. Okay, there's a cutter. I can probably make it cross without 
again hit. Okay, I'm gonna turn left. Ugh, yeah, grabbing. Ugh, get out of this. I needed the energy. I think if I drive into those, I go fast, but my car is so beat up right now, I really should not risk it. And I'm so beat up right now. More Taurus. Hello! Yeah, this area sucks. Ugh, there's so many shocky things. I really would have liked to have stopped to get the plasma. But I'm so low on health that it'll kill me. My car is in shambles. Alright, yeah. So here's the exit towards the story point. Hopefully this area won't be as fucked up. Fingers crossed. Everybody clap your hands. If you believe, clap your hands. There we go. Oof. Damn. God damn. Okay, seems like this one isn't as horrible as that one was. And I think I already have enough energy to get back. Alright. Serum, town center, damp forest, outer zone. Okay. This one doesn't seem that bad. And once we go there. Okay. Let's God, do it. Sierra. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Head toward town. Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. Oh, damn. What happened? Uh, is there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? You wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. So it says to go here. Oh, it moved. Okay. Driver, are you sure about this? No. Well, they'll be fine. I'm and not sure of anything. Fine? Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cap is still giving off after all these years. Uh, to achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're going to take her side? This isn't about sides. It's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. For all I care, they can lay down and wait until the instability takes them. That would wow. get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. Thanks. Jerk. Look at all those tourists. I think so far they're my favorite anomaly. They're creepy. Okay, here we have... Was it Electric Mist? Let's go around. I need to stop at these things every so often to see if I can find either a, a health kit or some fabric. I 
I think that just broke my pry bar. There we go. Yeah, I need to start making sure I carry a health kit with me. There we go. Damn, that looks nuts. Yeah, that looks insane. Kind of like the... Like Northern Lights or Aurora Bar Hour. <laughs> Not doing that. Because I know that if I do that, it's just oof. Oof. There's one of those swirly dirly things in there. So let me park it here. I'll go in on foot. But first. Oh, I'm getting radiated. Why? Six. There we go. Why am I getting radiated? Isn't there a truck back here? Did I lose the truck? Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, it's one of the tankers. So if I need fuel. All right. Here, let's go ahead and get in here, I guess. Hello. Damn, radiation gets in here, too. Okay, gotta be quick. Uh... I don't know if this is worth it. My face is melting. All right. Where's my door keep opening? So it says I have to drive through. Mm, let's not drive through. I'll go around. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. I need to start, I guess, start crafting some, like, anti-radiation gear. Is that a thing? Oh, I'm not going to fit that. Nope. Fuck off. Oh, damn it. Yeah, try to grab me so I use my my F ability. Jesus. Yeah, I, I can't fit to that. There is bad shit everywhere. Go ahead 
Going off road. There's some houses or lootable areas over here. Go through the fence. I can. Ha ha. Try to grab me. I dare ya. Okay. No. Get over here. That looks nuts. All right. Okay. I can't make repair putty, and I can't make a first aid kit. I'm kind of just, I'm kind of screwed. It is so dark. Oh, here we go. That gives me enough fabric to make a first aid kit. That was insane. Also, it took me right to this. Yeah, I'm trying to loot this little neighborhood. Uh, 
There's stuff I can cut up, but I really don't want to spend that much time over here. Yeah, like a phone and stuff like that. Oh, sick. Okay, let's get across the street. And try to loot these, and then I'll do the story. Okay, I looted as much as I could. These abductors are being very annoying. Shit. I know, I know, I know. Damn. I think I have to drive through that really quick to get to where I need to go, so let's... I know, uh... No! Tourists! There's tourists and abductors everywhere. Hmm. Car's still not close enough to Cappy. What now? How about, uh... Launching the car into Cappy's core. What? I, 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 I'm sorry. What? It's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly. And if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't? I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say. What's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Who says that exactly? In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way, yeah, you got this kid for it. These guys suck. They're like, yeah, get yourself killed in the name of science. Oh, hi.
Okay. There's a tourist. Hello. Uh. Oh, I can go up here. Sick. So I think I have to put a gear in and it gives me those things in return. Not sure that's worth it for me. Cause I, I feel like I can just pick those up anywhere. we're good. Yeah, that lowers the gate. Now I can go ramp the car, I guess. What the fuck? Ugh. Oh boy. Oh my god. There's like, oh my God, please leave me alone. Oh, here we go. Did, <laughs> I mean, obviously they have to get me back. <gasps> you. Crafty son of a bitch. Yes, I can hear you. Transmission systems. I thought I lost you for a moment. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? The gateway got you out, and it looks like the arc device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car signal and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. Thank you? None of the routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and chart some more? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. So, this car is going to drive me insane. That's fun. Man, look how fucked my car is. It's doing great. Um, let's put up that. Let's go throw... Oh, we also have some stuff we can read. Clu it's 7 a.m. and it's time to find out if these anomalies, like, rock and roll. Alright. Let's go see what the friendly dumpster has to give. <laughs> garbage. So I can't pick these up. I can't turn them into shit uh, because it this gave it to me. I will gladly take rubber and springs and stuff. All right. Um, let me See if I can upgrade anything. God, need more chemicals. I always need chemicals. Is that something I can craft? I 
doubt it. All right, yeah. Let me upgrade some stuff. And we'll go to the next thing. Like the ones from 1961. It happened again. Just a quick blip. Like blinking your... Wait. You didn't see it? I was in a total blackout. Colossal Cappy fried my systems. Right. Because sending the driver head first into Cappy didn't work out like you said it would. Big What's surprise. happening? <laughs> oh, spare me, Francis. The driver's alive and your remnants verified. Isn't that all you wanted? Now, why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination? When Cappy amplified the remnant signal, it triggered another hallucination event. But it only lasted three seconds this time. And, and not only that, we picked up that <gasps> its source was northwest of us. Specifically, yeah, somewhere in the deep zone. That's impossible. It's been 40 years. So, hey everybody, so I replaced a lot of parts, but I couldn't replace all the parts. So I came into a zone just kind of looking around. And now they were freaking out about something. Uh, so it's been 40 years since they saw this particular thing. I was more intrigued by the fact that I found uh, a repair shop. This hallucination wave that trigger. We picked up its waveform. And it turns out it's equal and opposite to the remnants waveform. They're paired signals. It means they're related. And, and and what's more, if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is, we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. A simple destructive interference. <laughs> this is insane! After all this time, we find a remnant, a uh, lead on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Pinch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just when things were getting dull. The remnants. It was a key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. <clears throat> I... I need to go. This is you, Francis! We have so much work to do! I know. I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And, 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 and be careful. I'll be not in a right mind, okay? So, uh, watch yourself. I've, I've noticed that she's a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Could it be the fact that she's like 85 and is chugging whiskey constantly? No? Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna chug along. Uh, loot this zone, then I'll head back to the garage. Um, yeah, I'll cut to the next thing. Hey, it worked. Yeah, I put in glass shard and it gave me electronics. Sick. So that's how that works. Got it. Uh, yeah. I've seen so many where it wants, like, gears. And gears are pretty important. So I'd rather not give up my gears. Especially when it's like in exchange for flares. Alright. Getting radiated. Let's get out of here. I think I looted everything in here. Um, and now we're gonna go downstairs. There's a collector. Hello. Or an abductor. Fuck off, please. Shh. 
shit. Okay. Uh, uh-oh. There it is. I would have totally lost my car had it not been for the glow-in-the-dark stickers. Sick. So, I think whenever we get back to the garage, I need to mess around with the quirk tinkerer or something. Because whenever I turn my wheels, my lights go out. And whenever I open my door, the left, the right door opens. I think that's all stuff that I can, I, I have to like diagnose. But yeah, uh, let's keep looting. I'll cut to the next thing. I haven't even taken a picture of this yet. Okay. I think I'm gonna just risk it and go through the woods. This is a bad idea. Ugh. Mm, fuck my car up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why did I do this? Jeez. <laughs> but look at all that time saved. Oh me, oh my. Okay. Because there's another energy thing up here that I want. Okay. Park. What? What? Stop it. No! This is fucked. This is fucked. How rude. Bouncing that shit around. Okay. Now I gotta get out of here. Okay. Luckily I have those off-road tires. Man, now everything is getting fried. Yeah, every time I turn, my headlights go off, so that's gotta be a quirk. Ooh, ooh, and the red border is coming in, so I bet if. I get caught in that, that's like instant death. Damn, this looks so fucking cool. Every time I see it, it looks incredible. All right, but we are out. Uh-huh. I screwed up. I yes. nearly got you killed. The things I used to calculate as easily as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. 
But now, knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there, I need to know what it is, and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. You can do nothing but twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through. And fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. Okay. Uh, alright. Let me do some stuff behind the scenes and if then... You're in a bind, pay a visit to the friendly dumpster out back. I always seem to find just what I need in there. Yeah, let me do some stuff behind the scenes and then we will cut to the next thing. Hey, I got one of the, the diagnoses. Okay, so now if I go up to fixes... Is what you'll need to fix this. Light replacement kit. Okay. Um... I think I have to go craft that? Okay. Uh, boop, boop. Fix quirk? Yes. Sick. Okay, so now whenever I turn, the lights won't go off. So... Yeah, look, my door is open again. Screw the headlight, All right? So like, is that the only quirk I had? Is it? Let's try something really quick. Ah, it's not when I open my door, it's when I put it in park. Okay, so shifter is in park. Front right door opens. What? Oh, shifts to park. There we go. So fixes need glass shards, okay? Yes. Oh my god, that has been driving me nuts forever. That has been driving me insane, y'all. Okay, got the matter regenerator. So now, I think if I take this off... Yeah, it'll start regenerating it. So by the time I come back, it'll be fixed. I can swap it out for this one. Interesting.
Oh, I made I made a crude one. Damn it. I make steel. There we go. Yeah. Damn. Cool. Uh, let me do some more stuff off screen and then we will get to work. Do one more mission, then we'll end the video. Hey, let me. I stopped recording for a second. Uh, I went to go check the map, and she started talking to me. As you can see, I get myself a little paint job. Ugly as fuck. Love it. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, ran out of guesses for the quirks. Quirks. Quacks. Um, I think overall I'm good, though. Gotta figure out why that turned on. All right. Let's do it. I can't believe it took me so long to figure out why my uh, right side door, the passenger door, kept opening up. But now that I did, I am so stoked. I figured out the headlights thing pretty quickly. I really, I really thought that the door thing was a glitch. This one has intense radiation, so let's skip that. I'll go here first. God damn. Yeah, not a fan of the radiation. I don't like how it eats away at my skin. All right. Oh my god. There's like a neighborhood. Oh, that is sexy. Let's go. Okay. That means I can just like park up. And look, my door didn't open. Ah. Uh. Okay, here we go. Ouch. Yeah. I can just park up in that neighborhood and just loot until my heart is content. Let's see. So there is something off to the right. It's a... Looks like a train car? Let's go check that out real quick. Ooh! I already love this zone. I already love it! Oh, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Got a new scrapper. Let's throw that in here. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Love it. I love getting loot. Give me all of it. Okay. Boop. So this doesn't come on yet. Interesting. So I wonder if it was either putting fuel into the car makes it go off or the battery recharging makes it go off. I'm really curious what does it. Okay. Oh man, it's one of the fuel ones. I can't do anything with those. All right, let's follow the tracks into the neighborhood. Or I can just go back to the road. Let's do that. Yeah, 
It's just BAM! Sick! Oops. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Alright. Yeah. Time to loot in two. I'm really enjoying this game. Like, I'm really curious how I'm gonna have to edit this episode. Because I did around six hours of just looting. Uh, so yeah, it might be either some quick cuts. I might include a lot more than I meant to. I don't know. I'm sure there are people out there that would watch uninterrupted, uninterrupted gameplay. But, I don't know, it's, there's just so much shit that I did. I can't post like a fucking eight hour video. This is also, like, probably the most work I put into a game that I'm recording in a really long time. Usually, like, I'll record a bit and be like, alright. You get the point, but this, I'm like, nah. We're going balls to the wall on it. And, uh, I've already posted part one. And the reception of this has already been very, very good. People seem, like, really excited for this game. A lot of people didn't even know that it was coming out. Or what it was. Uh, so yeah, to those people I say, I hope you're still enjoying it. It's actually a lot better than I thought it would be. Like, I was really excited for it, but this has surpassed my expectations. gonna radiate me if I get in here? No. Yeah. I would like to find another uh clam pearl? A dumpster pearl. I've only found one of those so far. I know they're super rare. Yeah, I want to see what else they give us. Okay. Ooh, I want to add a paint. And I can't open these big metal doors. Okay. All right, um, I will cut to the next thing. The fuck? What the fuck? Where'd this come from? I was just walking around and it dropped a stable anchor on me. Okay, I guess let's go put this in there. What the fuck, man? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. The border's already here. That's not fair. That's not fair. I'm just trying to get some sweet loot. Oh. Okay, I gotta be quick. 
Is there still stuff that I need? Ow. Rude. Don't zap my fucking car, bro. Man. I'm getting a storm warning. All right. Why did it... I'm still confused why a, an anchor just appeared next to me. Bonk. Oh man, in order to get to the thing, I have to go out into the storm. That's fucked, man. That is balls. Might as well get this one too. Yep. Things grabbing onto me? No, stop. There's a bulb in there, but I don't have time to get it. Yeah, it says the thing I need is right in front of me. Oh, wait. Ooh, hold on. Okay. What is this? Payload? Is this a fucking nuke? Okay, I'll have to read up on that in a second. No. Please. Please. Okay. I think what I actually have to do is go out the exit. I thought. I had to go to the green thing. So, here. Legend. V. Yeah. Doesn't even... Huh. Doesn't even show what that green thing is. Well, I found a payload. That's nice. Usually I have to pay for the loads. God. Oh. Craven. Gross. Alright. Oh boy. If I can get back over here. God damn, it is fucking my car up. Yeah, I just broke something. Either a door or something.
Okay. This is like the barrier of the storm. Oh, please, 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 please. Woof! I threaded that needle. Okay, here we go. Um... Just gotta get to the exit. If I have chemicals, then I'll make some putty. Try to repair stuff. Uh... Something up this way. Damn. Yeah, I definitely broke something. Well, look at all that plasma. Okay, I have, I have time. Oh, fuck. I need another impact hammer. There we go. And then let's also Okay. Ah, oh, my inventory. It's fucked. I need gear. Okay, boop. Impact hammer. There we go. Yeah, I need plasma. Any college kids want to sell me some plasma? No, 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 hey! Don't do that. Never seen that before. All right. Yeah, the... The storm's like right behind me. At least I got some plasma. That's sick. My car is fucked up. Okay, here's the exit. I don't think I've ever noticed that big balloon. My God. My car is fucked. Y'all, I fucked it. I, uh, being caught out in the storm like that for such a long time really, really fucked me up. I'm gonna see if I can make some putty or something. I wish I could find more repair putty. I don't think I've found any out in the wild in a long time. Basically since, like, the first chapter. Okay, so I'm up there. Damn, there's so much looty stuff. There's a whole lot standing between where we are and the deep zone. Like another wall and the entire mid zone, for starters. It's not as simple as driving there. We can't control the instability any more than we can control the weather. Uh-huh. At the height of Lim R&D, thousands of us lived and worked here in the zone. So we built limb stabilizers to make certain sectors and roads a little more predictable than others. It was the only way we could operate as a live research compound despite the instability. Damn. And yes, the same technology that destabilized the landscape in the first place. Limb technology was always a double-edged sword from the beginning. We're going to put those stabilizers to work and clear you a path. The old observation towers surrounding Sierra Mod have a map of the stabilizers in that sector. Mind swinging by and finding one? Sure. I suppose I can do that. Um, all right. Fuck, man. I probably don't need to be going into like random houses right now. 
I need to find chemicals, but I think the only way you can find those is in research stations and stuff. Don't have time to break you. And I also don't need it. There's a zapper. Okay, so no more houses for this mission. But if I see one of those research stations, I'll definitely check it out. Oh, there's also this beauty. What you got for me? Lots of paint. New steering wheel. That's nice. Sick. I love finding those delivery trucks. They are just chock full of delicious goodies. Okay. I wonder if the road out here is gonna be just covered in anomalies. Yep. So far it is. Oh boy. It's an abductor. Thought that was a like a heart of the whatever. Here we go. The towers are locked up tight, but you can tighten up security protocols all day, only for one disgruntled employee to program in his name for fun and mess it all up. Anyway. The overload code is 4735. Find that stabilizer map and scan it for me. Uh, oh boy. I was assigned to clean these towers out every time the guards rotated. And things I saw. Sick. Let's just say that keeping a watch on Sierra day in and day out did not make for a good time. I didn't envy those guards one bit. Of course, gotta loot. Gotta grab everything I can. <laughs> okay. Uh, scan the map. I got it. I'm overlaying the map with the available routes near you. There you go. Found three sector stabilizers that'll do the job. They're not too far, so I've added the location to your route. The access road will lead you straight there once you're ready. Okay. Uh, not gonna cut anything up. I'm just gonna get out of here. I've been doing so much looting, I just need to do the mission. <laughs> Damn. So it actually wants me to just leave. Interesting. I guess I'm going on to the next zone. But also, I'm tempted to go back to the garage to fix my stuff. Because, oh boy, I don't like having that much red. Maybe I'll get very lucky and find another repair spot. Very unlikely. President, crack my windshield. 
Love it. Okay. Already looted you. So we're taking a left. Around the bollard. Yeah, I guess let's follow this. Is this a road? Yeah, all right. I got those off road tires. We're good. Tourists. Hello. Train cars. Damn, that's a huge bollard. This is a lot of research stuff. This could have some chemical. Ah, of course, I'm being radiated. Plasma thing that won't shock me. Okay. I need chemicals. Give me chemicals. Here we go. Might as well just grab all that. need another hammer. I'm actually finding so many chemicals now. Love it. Okay. No time to cut stuff up. I mean, I have time, just, uh, I'd rather get in and out as fast as I can. There goes my pry bar. Radiation. All right. Let's check down this end, then we're out. Okay. Ugh, Taurus.
keep hitting shit. What is... I saw a green thing out here. What is this? Oh, it's just a abductor. Damn it. I would love to loot this shit, but I don't have time. There we go. You try to drag me away. Ugh, I was not looking. There's a shock tower next to that gas station. Another abductor. Gateway too close? What do you mean? Am I too- oh, does that mean like I'm too close to activate it? I think I just follow this road up to the exit. Look at all these tourists. At some point, I need to actually get out there and farm them. I think the ones with the glowy chest have a chance of dropping a certain item that I need. Oh, my health. Ugh. Is there a light on this? Oh, it was a reflection. All right. Um, where's, do I have a health kit? Yes. There we go. All right. So I wonder where this is going to send me. Damn, we are so far up there. And I feel like I have a lot of energy right now. Stabilizer, artisite, blistering woods, outer zone. Okay. The woods there can be a bit of a maze. If you get lost, follow the pipes. The limb tech and those stabilizers ran so damn hard, only more limb tech could contain it from complete meltdown. We're gonna make one putty. Shplop. Shplop. The stuff that like really needs repaired. I'll give it to. All right. An explanation. About the mass hallucination event that Tobias and Francis were going on about. But don't worry, I won't be nearly as long-winded. Because there honestly isn't much that we know about it. It happened on the morning of September 14th, 1961. Yes, what happened? My colleague, Dr. James Kay, was conducting experiments at a highly classified site in the deep zone. He was assisted by my husband, Dr. Alan Turner. Oh. At 0400, their experiment unleashed a gamma ray surge that instantly killed both of them. The surge was an impossible amount of energy, orders of magnitude greater than any man-made source. It also triggered hallucinations in anyone awake within a 10-mile radius. It was a burst of widespread insanity, but only for a short moment. So I wonder if the people that died in the... 
in the explosion turn into remnants? Like, is this car her husband or some shit? Oh, damn. Those tourists are getting shocked up. What the fuck? Why? Why? I was nowhere near it. I was nowhere near it. Crack my windscreen. Thank you. Ooh, I hadn't seen that guy in a while. The spike puddle. Doctor, hello. Um, yeah, it's right in front of me. It's this thing. Okay, so let's park up. Lead shield. Oh, I can cut this up. Lead platelet. Nice. Okay. Let's get all these because I've never seen that before. What do you want? It's like, better not grab my car. Uh, inventory full, so let's go here. Okay. What are you trying to grab, stupid? All right, how do I get, oh, here we go. Okay, so that was Charlie. You know, 30 seconds of hallucinations. Sure didn't feel sure when I was free falling to outer space. Heck of a ride, though. Did you know the rings of sand sing? I saw disembodied arms. Tons of them. They were grasping and crawling. And, uh, what about you, Alfie? What did you see? I saw nothing. How is that possible? Everybody else saw something. Must have passed me by. I don't know what to tell you. But weren't you working in your lab that night? And weren't you supposed to be doing your research rather than keeping track of my whereabouts? Okay. Damn. Wow. That's she? She saw something bad. And she doesn't want to talk about it. Also, I'm almost out of fuel. So I get now why we need a larger fuel can. Yeah, because I'm almost out of gas. I'm in the, like the lower third tank. Excuse me. Sorry. Okay. Now that we know the remnants were connected to the mass hallucination, maybe we can figure out what caused it. Oh boy, oh boy, do I have theories. I bet Don't you do. Start. 
Dr. K and Alan clearly uncovered some new way of using Lynn to motivate that gamma ray burst. Oh, yes, precisely. Where did gamma rays come from? But out of space. Feedback on planet Earth. Kid. What is this? There are plenty of terrestrial sources of gamma rays. Thunderstorms, for example. No, 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 no. You said it yourself. The energy levels from that night are much greater than anything we've seen on Earth. A pacemaker. Sure, but going straight to aliens when there's countless perfectly scientific possibilities. Perhaps Dr. K and Alan developed a limb-assisted mass particle collision. Oh. oh. Heck, tapped into some sort of gamma It took my vacuum. A reservoir? Or a portal? A portal. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. that's a lot of reading. To Atlantis. Of course. Let's get away from now it for a second. I think of that? That's absolutely it. Okay, logbook. Uh Detailing antennas. Where would So here's payload. When the sky turns against the zone and its residents, as it so often does, sometimes it comes bearing gifts. Uh pacemaker. There it is. Most of the time, even the majority of the time, the zone makes a mess of everything. It's pure chaos out here. But sometimes, just sometimes, its eternal rearrangement creatures or creates something coherent, even useful. This time around, it looks like those useful things are reconstructions of some of our own equipment and inventions built back into something that's actually functional. They look and behave just like several early prototypes of our first LIM labs, but at the same time, it's also as if they've been assemb assembled clumsily by a child or by someone trying to understand how this technology works. Uh, someone improvising, someone learning, here I am trying first to understand LIM technology or tech and then the zone, yet sometimes, and then the zone, and yet sometimes I wonder if something inside it isn't also trying to learn about us. It's like, what does it do? Yeah, it just eats whatever I give it. Hey, jerk. Alright. Yeah, I won't give it anything else. So I need to figure that out. This game is full of mysteries that I don't quite understand. And they don't just, like, explain things outright to you. They make you kind of figure it out. Which is good, but also sometimes frustrating. Like, uh... I don't know what that does. There's... Uh... The... Heart of the something. I don't know what that does. There's goodies in there. But I'm tired of looting. That's what do the story right now. Oh no, buddy. Ah, no! You fucking asshole. You fucking prick. Son of a bitch. Oh, that one's electrified too. Stop it! So, some of the tourists don't just explode. Some of them will shock the shit out of you.
There's a plasma thing that's by itself. This I do need. I barely have any plasma. There we go. And then also, do I still have gas on my tank? I do. Sick. Okay. That, that fueled me up a little bit. Ugh. No. These electrified tourists are very annoying. Control. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go around to get that one. Alright. I probably took the dumbest route. Ah, oh, shit. I think my battery's so low that I can't turn on my lights anymore. Alright, time to try out the battery jumper. There we go. Yeah, that gave it a nice charge. I, I've never used that before. Okay. Uh, let's get back on the road. Can this even be considered a road? This is a dirt trail. go. The thing I need is right up here. Ugh. Sick. 
Okay, let's park it. Uh, lights off. Aha! I know what the... If I increase the battery, recharge the battery, that sets off the dome light. Ceiling kit. Always need that. stories and superstitions. So, why now? What's in this for you? What I do is not and has never been any of your business. Damn. You're asking us to trust you. So yes, it's our business now. How about this? You two sign off and count orbs or whatever it is you like to do, and I'll get the driver to the mass hallucination source myself. Excuse me? No, 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 no. Tobias found this remnant. This is his discovery. Sure. And I'll send you a nice gift basket to mark the occasion. But I won't let anyone interfere with this. Damn. All right, so I'm gonna, uh, do something silly again. We either throw everything we can at this thing, or we lose this chance, and the answers to the mass hallucination are gone forever. There we go. This isn't like one of your little Sasquatch hunts. I'm not letting you get your tinfoil pseudoscience anywhere near this. This is too damn important to me. It sure didn't seem too important earlier, when you messed up and nearly killed the driver. You wanna play that game? You really wanna talk about our track records? Screw you, Oppy. I'd rather run this remnant into the ground than work with either of you. Oh, forget it. We're wasting our breath with this old man. There's gotta be another way. She's out of her mind. I can't do this. I can't. Look, if you want to waste your precious time picking apart bird droppings and squinting at constellations, by all means, follow their lead. I were better off without them. Trust me. I'll get you through no matter what. This really is my last chance. Last chance at what? Redemption? Like, what do you what do you mean? To like make up for what you did? Oh shit. There's a ton of them. It's like she was like head of research and development, so I'm sure she feels maybe a little responsible. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. God, that fries my shit. Oh, and there's another one. I know it wants me to... It's hinting that I could have jumped over something, but no. I'm not doing that. Okay. God damn, there's just so much shit in the road. Taurus, that's all electrified. I hate you. I was trying to avoid you, bro. Oh my God. There's, there's shit everywhere in this zone. Everything wants to destroy my car. No. I'm just getting fried. I'm cooked. I don't know where the fucking road is. Hello? Where's the road? Okay, it's to my left. Is this even a road? What? Huh, hold on. 
What is this? Oh, oil barrel. Okay, where's the road? Here it is. You, you can't even call this a road. This is, this is, mama, this is garbage. What the fuck? All right. Shit's popping off over there. Yeah, what, what was that? Huh. All right. Which is shit I don't need. I need repair putty. Gladly, gladly. Don't have to tell me twice. Okay, it's over that way. I think this is downhill. I'm gonna try to take a shortcut, of course, and just fuck my shit up. Ugh. There we go. God damn, this electric shit is annoying. I know, I know, I know. Okay, here's a road. Fuck, I can't smack through it. I think too much of my stuff is broken. Here we go. Okay, which way do I go? Not that way. What? Fuck, went the wrong way. Okay. Damn. I didn't see that until it was too late. My shit is fried. I can't see anything. Oh no. Y'all, I think this is game over. I might have to load. All right. I took a different route this time. So I'm hoping this one's gonna be easier to get away from. Trying. Okay. So let's turn around. It's over off that way. The road is supposedly in front of me somewhere. Which I don't believe that. Here we go. I think it's right here. 
Nope. Okay. Let's not do this thing again where I kill myself. But I do need to hurry because that... Ugh. The barrier shit is closing in around me. Okay, found the road. Perfect. Okay. I need to go this way, stick to this road. Ah, oh, fucking electric assholes. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. I basically stay on this road the entire time. Oh my god, fuck off. Zap, yep. Shock my shit. The biggest upgrade I need right now is anti-shock. I know. Okay, I just keep following this, and then... Oh my god. Yeah, this piece of shit road. Here we go. I can actually see the beam. I might just go careening down towards it. Yeah, let's do that. No! There's shocky boys everywhere! This is fucked up! Let's get out of here! Go, 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 go! Get me out of here! Okay, oh my god. Uh. Nice work out there. Thank you. The sector stabilizers are fully operational. You've got a straight shot toward the expansion wall. One more thing. You may want to consider armoring up a bit. Once you cross that wall, the mid zone is another beast altogether. All right. So we made it back, and mostly One Piece. One Piece is real! Can we get much higher? And also, I know what you need. It's battery increases. Dome light switches on. Wait, is it battery? Ugh, hold on. Ugh. Oh, my butt. Okay. Battery. Increases. Dome light. Toggles? So it's saying it has nothing to do with the battery. I don't think that's true. But fuel increases dome light toggles. Okay, dome light is off. I gotta figure that out. Battery's full, dome light is off. Okay. And I just fueled up. Interesting, so something else is going on with the dome lights. Huh. Not the hood. Yeah, interesting. Okay, well, all right, let's end it there.
Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. It's going to be such a pain in the ass to edit. So much footage. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. When we come back, we will be mostly just blasting through story. I'm probably going to leave, unless I find anything crazy cool, uh, during the... Uh, during the moments whenever I am looting. I'm probably going to leave all that off camera and just do the story for the rest of the videos. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Hey, before we go, check us out. This is fucking awesome. My steel panels are done being fixed. Yeah, so this is what I'm going to be doing after every big run. Yeah, put this in there. Yeah. Like, all my steel panels are going to get replaced. Like that. Sick. Yeah, this thing is amazing. First I was like, eh, I don't really see the need for it. But now I'm like, this is incredible. Um, let's also get some doors getting fixed in there. Yeah. Oh, I can probably do two doors at once. So let's go ahead and do that. Damn, this one's fucked. This one's super fucked. Ah, oh, no, I can only do one door. Alright. Damn. I need expansion for that. Unless I can do this. I can, haha. -ha. Perfect. So yeah, these are gonna get fixed up. Um also, I said I was gonna cut open the dumpster pearl I got. But honestly, I don't think it's going to matter. I think it's going to give me the same shit no matter what. So I'm just going to put it in here. Damn. Yeah. Damn. That's good shit. Yeah, alright. For real this time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.